Hello everyone. It is time to address an issue. I need to take, tell you a little story. So um, I came back from holiday, holiday at the weekend um, and I've been afraid to go to the house but um, I have a little bit of time this afternoon and I'm filming this while it's still daylight um, but I'm going to go and have to take a look. Before I went on holiday, Dad and I had a conversation about remodelling the layout of the downstairs space in the house. Upstairs is done in terms of construction work. Uh, it's not finished by any stretch of the imagination, but we're not knocking any more walls down, no more floors are coming up. So uh, thoughts turn to downstairs. And in the end, we concluded that I did not want any walls to come down downstairs and that was fine this was a few weeks ago um done sorted and then I went on a holiday uh and I was out of the country uh snowboarding my snowboard is in fact still in the car and I was watching something unfold on the ring camera while I was away. And I think that this can only mean that my dad has been knocking walls down in the downstairs of the house because the only piece of construction that was left to do as far as I was concerned was taking out the fireplace and that is far, far too many bricks for the him to only have taken out the fireplace. And I haven't, I've been genuinely terrified to find out what it is that he's been up to. Uh, he says it's a secret, he says it's a surprise, he's very pleased with himself. I have not even asked him because I'm too afraid that I'm going to hate it uh, and it's not what I wanted. I had gotten to a place where I was really happy with my vision, my future vision of what the downstairs is going to look like and how things are going to be laid out and how I'm going to function in the rooms and taking any walls down is going to significantly impact on what that vision looks like and i'm i don't want to let it go uh i the, the vision i had was of me being really happy in this space and everything being laid out the way that i want it and i can't pretend that the thought that somebody has taken that away from me when i didn't when i actively said that i didn't want it best intentions or otherwise does frighten me so dad isn't there this afternoon i have to go to the dentist and then i'm going to whiz by the house before i go home to take a look and i'm going to take you with me um i don't know if it's going to be a live reaction thing probably not because i don't know how the light is going to be um by the time i get there but we're going to go and find out what's happened see if i hate it or not I'm really worried I'm going to hate it and that dad's going to be upset and I don't want any of those things so it's a, it's a difficult one. Okay so I've just come in through the back door and oh I've just spotted something new. Um, it's not what I thought it was going to be and it may work i don't know i haven't stepped into the room yet let me spin okay so we've got a door where we didn't used to have a door and we've got another door where we didn't used to have a door this is what i didn't see straight away okay well i always wanted this door it's got to be said, I always wanted a door to come through here. Um, so this, I am happy about. So if you look at it from this side, there did not used to be a door here. And you can see where the lintel has gone in. Ah. 
This makes a huge difference to this bit. Um, you may remember there used to be a wall sticking out 90 degrees here. Um, and the doorway used to be here. So we've got a new door in here. Which does change the shape. And I've just looked behind me and seen something else that I hadn't seen before. So it does change the shape of the kitchen. Um, in the shape of the kitchen, by the way, makes me very happy that we did not buy a kitchen at, in the um, Boxing Day sales because my dad was super keen um, on getting all like signed up for a Ren kitchen design and we've just completely changed everything. So I'm embracing this change. I don't hate this change does mean that they're, all the plans and all the designs have to be completely different to what I thought they were going to be. But I don't think that's a bad thing. What do we find? Over here, we have the pantry. And this, this makes me very happy. I think um, potentially all I've wanted out of my whole life is to live in a house with a walk-in pantry. Um, all other achievements pale in comparison to this. So it's not the world's biggest pantry, but I'm in a pantry. Being in the pantry is very cool. Um, loads of space for dry goods and loads of space for kitchen crap I don't want to look at. And yeah, life goal achieved. So, Potentially, the lesson is to trust my dad a little bit more. He does, in fact, know what he's doing. He's done many of these before, so that should really come as no surprise. But I approve. What does it look like from this side? Okay, this is in the living room. And then rather than walking through 180 degrees into the old door, you actually get to walk through more gently. And then I've got 360 degree movability. Um, just to prove that point, I'm gonna walk around in circles for a minute. I'm back again. This is what I wanted to do when I very, very, very first saw this house a year ago, almost. Um, this is always my plan for downstairs, to have that 360 um, movement between the all the rooms. It made no sense to me why I had to come in to the front room, into the hallway, into the front room, and then turn 180 degrees to come into the kitchen. Um, we dismissed it because initially, um, really just because I just had no energy for extra building works um but it turns out that the um it wasn't as complicated as we thought it was going to be basically um and so we were able to to get it done and get it done in the right way most importantly um still within the concept of not wanting to outlay thousands of pounds on builders so um this is and always has been a zero budget project so we do just achieve the individual mile milestones as we come to them, work out what's possible um, and how to cost it and how to fund each step as we go. So this was one that I was worried about. As I said, dad kept it a complete secret from me. He doesn't know I'm here. So I haven't had his version of events yet. We will undoubtedly get that a little bit later. But for now, I'm going to heave a really huge sigh of relief and go home again. Catch you later.